wildfires, are a natural ecological process, common to the California landscape. However, changes to our climate have increased both the frequency and intensity of these fires across the state. With prioritization on preserving human life, California's systems are less suited to handle the animal species, wild and domestic, that also inhabit these high-risk zones. Calaveras County is located in Northern California. The California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, CAL FIRE, has treated almost 70 acres, across 11 projects in Calaveras and Tuolumne counties this year. This map represents the types of wildlife species that are common on the site. Our solution is to design a fireproof shelter, located in a high-risk fire zone in California, which can provide safety to surrounding wildlife, protecting them from flames and heat during a wildfire. This shelter is also accessible to local firefighters when needed. A crucial element to this project is the ceramic tiles that are aggregated on the shelter's exterior. Ceramic itself is a highly durable material which can withstand extreme heat. Here we can see how an animal in the wild can easily spot this shelter and access the entry point at any time it is seeking safety. This shelter mainly focuses on protecting medium-sized animals, such as foxes, coyotes, deer and etc. There are three entries for the animals, which have enough clearance to allow medium-sized animals, and prevent any larger predators from entering. As shown in the section, the animals enter from openings placed beneath the shelter. Barns are typically where animals are kept for shelter, however, a typical barn is easily consumed by wildfire, due to these issues. Firstly. They typically have high unobstructed ceilings, which allows fire to spread quickly inside the barn. Secondly, fire and heat get caught under the barn's overhang, and the gaps in the wood plank facade allows for debris to settle, becoming a fire hazard, as well as a nesting spot for ember. The flat surfaces create wind resistance, increasing air pressure, pushing the fire into new fuels. For the blast barn, the monolithic design comes from the Navy Stealth Destroyer. The deflections in the proposed barn eliminate spooling region for the heat. These diagrams represent heat and airflow across the tiles as well as how they are attached to the shelter. When multiple tiles are aggregated together, they fit smoothly without creating any pockets to trap fire. The tile design takes into consideration many factors which resulted in its shape. It is carved in a way to allow air and heat to move seamlessly through without getting trapped. For the tiles to be repeated seamlessly, we designed two types of tiles. The two tiles differ slightly in geometry, in order to fit together without creating gaps. The darker and lighter gray tiles represent the two different tile types. Here we take a closer look at the tiles with their graphic, in relation to the whole shelter. The tiles fit seamlessly together along the deflected surfaces. Each tile has a specific graphic applied to it which contributes to the overall appearance of the shelter. Furthermore, we extracted a chunk of tiles from the shelter, which we are using to produce a one-to-one -one scale replicate. By using two landscapes, we produce an artificially generated landscape which gets transformed into a tectonic process. As a result, we extracted curves from the depth and textures of the artificially generated landscape, then mapping these curves onto the tiles, which we use as a tool path to transfer the pattern, using robotic controlled routers. In order to transfer the pattern onto the tiles, we must first send the tool path to the robotic controlled routers. This animation, is a digital simulation of the pattern transfer. The pattern transfer is now converted from digital to physical. The robotic controlled router follows the toolpath into the semi-wet clay tile. As a result, we achieve a clean and accurate pattern transfer, that is thorough and can be repeated with consistency. The robotic controlled router allows us to create a pattern with an even depth, regardless of the curve from the geometry of the tile. An advantage of using a robotic controlled router, 
is that it can transfer a pattern in a short period of time, which means it has a higher efficiency rate than a human. Therefore, we can create more tiles in less time. After transferring the pattern onto the tiles, we experimented with several glaze recipes in order to produce samples. These samples aided us upon understanding what we are trying to achieve through the glaze, for the finish of our tiles. The glazing procedure is very unpredictable. In order for the glaze to bond to the tile, it must undergo a bisque firing, which can produce all sorts of effects, which include, color change, crackling, bubbling and more. Finally, after enough testing and experimenting, we were able to come up with our own glaze recipes, specific for the finish that we are looking to achieve for our tiles. With a total of four glaze recipes, one for each color of the artificially generated pattern that is mapped onto our tiles. The tiles have been successfully bisque fired, and are now ready to be glazed. As we can see, the use of robotic controlled routers allows the variety of patterns on the tiles. Depending on the depth of the pattern, the clay behaves in different ways that define the edge. By following the recipes, the glaze has been applied to the tiles, and are now ready to be bisque fired to reveal the result. This process of firing the tiles is necessary to bring the clay and glazes to their optimal level of melting, for them to react and create a permanent bond. The kilns fire to cone 5, about 2160 degrees Fahrenheit, and then require 12 hours to fire. Afterwards the tiles must cool down for another 12 hours. After transferring the pattern using the robotic controlled routers, applying the glazes and firing the tiles, we have come to this result. A one-to-one -one scale prototype of ceramic tiles that are a part of a larger facade, which can withstand extreme heat conditions to shelter animals from wildfires, without taking any damage. This highly controlled method of fabrication allows us to create geometrically complex, high-resolution tiles, which captures the fascinating essence and extreme durability of simple materials such as clay and glazing. All of this was achievable through the ability to expand the methods of fabrications with contemporary, robotic technologies.